Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at TB2Podcast. Check out the website at thebacktwo.com and let's get right into it. City aren't going unbeaten. Ha! That's the start. Is that one for all the Arsenal fans out there? They're very glad about that. They get to keep the uh, the old invincible tag. But who are they not keeping? Alexis Sanchez. And Alexis Sanchez. Right, before we start laughing at Arsenal... Let's go straight into it. The biggest yeah. game of the weekend. Crystal Palace versus Burnley. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> a whole 1-0 to Palace. No, seriously, no. <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> Newcastle <laughs> won. <laughs> Cheeky sport. <laughs> All right. Yeah, seriously, no. Yeah. Anfield. Liverpool 4. Johnny Evans opens the scoring for West Brom to, in the 2-0 victory over Brighton and over Albion. <laughs> Liverpool 4, Manchester City 3. Uh, is the game we're going to start with. And Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain having his best ever Premier League scoring season ta- ever. Yeah. <laughs> he's, um, well, yeah, he's taken, obviously, he's um, joined Liverpool. He's taken his career to new heights, a whole three <laughs> Premier League goals. Big, big I wouldn't be surprised three. if he's nominated. He'll probably be in the PFA team of the year. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I don't think you could knock it. Imagine, like, Klopp's getting all this praise for him. I mean, I'm already jumping on the Man United bandwagon, but... <laughs> Jesse, LL14, Lionel oh, Linga. You can't, you, this is, I mean, Ox, magical stuff. Three, three whole goals. Mm. I don't think you could knock it. I think I think we've got to kick Jesse out for now yeah. and focus on Ox. Focus as, on this game. As Ox opened the scoring after nine minutes, doing what Ox does, driving through that Man City defence. Playing where he wants to play as well in the midfield. Part of that midfield yeah. three. And uh, a great strike past uh, the best goalkeeper to ever play, the yeah. Edison. Uh, the, the goalkeeper stroke central midfielder, sorry, um, Edison. Yeah, well, the way um, Ox struck it, it was always... I didn't think, I don't know why we... Everyone was saying, don't shoot, I think. You yeah, said it was, that, yeah. was definitely def- def- don't shoot was being said while watching uh, the game in Ultra HD. But it, <laughs> Legally. <laughs> but it's arrowed straight into the bottom corner... Some calls that Edison could have maybe done a bit better. All I'm saying is, if that's going past Dave, I'm raising at least one eyebrow. One eyebrow. Rock-esque. <laughs> that, that's what I'm doing. And, uh, good strike. Good feeling. Yeah, excellent. It was a fantastic start to the game. A truly pulsating fixture. Fantastic. Heavy metal football. Can you knock it? That's what Klopp's all about. And um, they were very wasteful Liverpool, though. I've got to say in that first half, Mane had a... And the great chance, to, uh, a half chance anyway, Firmino flicked it on. Yeah. And then Mane's touch was. Was that before the goal? It might well have been. Me and me, I don't remember. But it, but it, it, it might well have been. It might well have been. Um, the game was just too much, you know. Yeah. And we're thinking, all right, before half time, Liverpool to see it out, to see it out. But no, Joe Gomez and Carrius have other ideas. I don't even know who pinged the ball across. No. To, well, to, to big uh, Sandy. Yeah, it's a massive switch. Um, Joe Gomez looks at Sane. No, he, he's, he's miles ahead and he still thinks, you know what, I'm going to win this. I'm going to win the header. Tracks back, tries to get to Sane. Misses it completely. And next thing you know, Sane's running at... Um, who, who was the midfielder, was it? These, are, these are big questions. Yeah. These are big questions, mate. Well, he's running at someone. So he's running at someone in yeah. red. And, uh, Cheeky sport. <laughs> They're definitely in red. That's we can <laughs> confirm that. And um, yeah, pushes him onto his left foot, and he just absolutely uh, strikes it near post. Ferocious power. I don't give a fuck. Keeper's got to yeah, say it. Carius. So he's been brought in. Carius for Mignolet. Klopp decided to change it, and yeah, didn't really pay off. Both dog. Yeah, both dog. Um, so you're going at half time one one. You're thinking, oh, here we go. City will. Uh, City might just run away with this or we'll, we'll take the lead, but no. Well, City started off the second half better. Very well. Otamendi hit the uh, crossbar from what was said by commentary to be an open header. He was being marked by three <laughs> Liverpool players, but we'll forget about that. Sky Sports. Yeah. And uh, then Bobby Firmino. Bobby Firmino. Wrecking. Absolutely wrecking John Pebbles. <laughs> he wrecked John Pebbles. <laughs> He bullies him off the ball. What a dickhead! And uh, it didn't. He, he dinked it. He, didn't he did. Actually he did. He think, did dink, dink it. it over Edison's head, but 
It was, it was a date. An odd finish, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I wasn't convinced by the date. I was thinking, no, why are you fucking... Yeah! That's pretty much what yeah. happened there. Before you know it, it's 2-1. And then... Actually, no, before all this, fucking hell, didn't Mane hit the post? Or yeah, was that then, after this? No, Mane hit the post first. Yeah, so, you know, Liverpool knocking at the door. They regained their lead and Mane... My gosh. Yeah, well, he hit the post, what, a minute before that? Yeah. And then... Um, City are playing it out from the back. Uh, Art Mendy's closed down by Salah. Garbage. Um, in a panic, he kicks it at Salah. Salah uh, squares it to um, good old <laughs> Mane. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then um, Mane mis hits it into the Bollocks. top left. Fuck, <laughs> fuck Genev. Fuck Genev. It's, it's it's just technique. Yeah. Just 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 technique. And uh, he puts it bins. It's three one. And we haven't got to wait. We haven't got to wait much longer because uh, the central midfielder Edison, yeah, comes out sweep the keeper. Madness, pings it straight to Salah. Uh, but to be fair, Salah's leg was high. It's and an it's excellent a, touch. Yeah. It's an excellent touch. Turns around, back of the net. Yeah. Son. It's four one. They go mental. Anfield's rocking. The Never records walk alone, going. I'm sure it's going off. Round and around. One song that wasn't being sung though was. Uh, the song of the weekend. Yeah. You're going to sing for us now. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should do it. You've been singing it enough. You might as well get on your podcast. I think if, if anyone hasn't heard it, should we this is play it for them? This is some copyright shit. I'm not getting those strikes. I'm not getting those strikes. Right, we'll get... Oh, is it going to start? Oh, sorry. We've got to just... Fuck you, dude. Is that enough? Yes. Are we not waiting for the shape? And the whole, but they can't see the shape. I'll skip. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's over? <laughs> Great stuff. The greatest thing to come out of a. Well, he's not even from Liverpool, but a Liverpool fan anyway. <laughs> Shout out oh. to Red Man TV. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Salah, Mane, and Firmino all scoring and. I didn't hear that once. I didn't hear it once. But uh, anyway, yeah, Anfield's rocking. You're thinking, bloody hell, City are losing their, their record in style here. Oh, 4-1. Um, but Liverpool are Liverpool. And uh, in the 84th minute, is it a Gundogan shot? That's blocked. Yeah, I think Matip slides and blocks it. And uh, it falls to Bernardo Silva, uh, who t- tucks it away to make it 4-2. You're thinking, all right, Liverpool, just, just see it out, yeah. guys. See it out. But uh, Lovren... Has other ideas. Yeah, Salah, uh, Salah, Sane is uh, <laughs> on the edge of the box. Um, Lovren goes rushing up to him. Um, Sane says, what are you doing? Pushes him to the floor. Uh-huh. Um, Sane then plays it out to Aguero and Aguero plays a <laughs> ball into the box. And instead of just uh, Lovren just jumping and uh, heading it away. He almost does. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. And Gunnigan's able to take it. On I've, his chest. I've seen that before, and um, not as a professional footballer. This, this is the level we're talking. We're talking local lads playing down in the pitch, and it's actually happened over Christmas where, oh, God. where I, to call someone else. I was I was in a back two, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and my guy uh, cross came in, and all he had to do was just head it out, but he seemingly ducked underneath it and fell to the man, and he put it in the back of the net. Very similar to the way Gundogan did, but not a whole touch. To be taking it on your chest from a. It was like he was the, one of the only ones in City Shock players him. in the Shock Liverpool him. box as well. I had about three red shirts about him. Took it down and smashed it into the back of the net. And now you really are thinking, for fuck's sake, Liverpool are actually going to go and bottle this. As um, is it a corner that's whipped in, or is it a cross? Oh what? no, the this is a, one. It's a free kick. Milner gives. Oh away, yeah. Um, a free kick foul on uh, Sergio Aguero. Then um, they're organising, organising. Klopp makes a substitution. Mane comes off for uh, Clavin, but it takes long. Mane's taking his time about it, mm-hmm. and then um, Clavin goes in to defend the uh, set piece. 
and it's a great ball by De Bruyne, but luckily all the City players go way too early and uh, Aguero hits, heads it into the side netting. But we believe the flag had been... I'm, I'm sure when we were watching it, the flag had gone up yeah. and Aguero would have been offside anyway. But that was the end of that. It wasn't to be for City. Their unbeaten record is gone. It's not around no more. Sorry, Pep and the boys. As Liverpool record a 4-3 win over the runaway leaders whose gap at the top remained at 15. At 15. It could be, it, it was potentially uh, going to be cut on Monday night. Was it? We'll get there in a sec. <laughs> Um, but Liverpool were able to move up into third place, and um, how they're third, I don't know. I think we touched on it in the last podcast. Podcast, um, <laughs> well, they've just been going about their business, getting wins, getting wins, and all of a sudden now, spoiler alert, they're sitting above Liverpool in the table and three points off Manchester United in the second place. Chelsea, live, oh yeah, above Chelsea, and they're sitting three points below. United, which is uh, the form is great for the top five teams. It is quite only delicious. one one L in the top five forms in the last five games. They're doing the business, so that's the end of that. Greatest game of the season so far. Um, Going back to <laughs> um, I thought it was thrilling, but for me, still, it's the three three. Uh, at the Emirates. Yeah. I the think Liverpool Arsenal game. Even though that did have poor defending, it was it was more it was an even game, whereas I think Liverpool let City get into mm. it. It was kind of just a late spell by City. Yeah. I think mean, that te- they scored Liverpool scored three goals in eight minutes and it just kinda blew them out of the water and I didn't think they were ever gonna I didn't think Liverpool could bottle it and luckily they didn't. Not for one to try. Mm. They tried the best to ball it, so it's seen. But we must say, they were without their 75 million centre-back, uh, Virgil van Dijk. Uh, Lovren was filling in for the lad, and I don't think he did himself any favours. No, he's definitely out next game. And Coutinho's all forgotten about. Yeah, who needs Coutinho, like the song says? Yeah. They're fine, because they've got Salah, no, 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 and all the rest <laughs> of it. We then roll on to Monday Night Football. Hey, the boys are back from Dubai. <laughs> Gary and Jamie doing great banter in the uh, kick it out in the studio. That's what I say. Gene Neville, I'm not happy with you, mate. I'll get on to you later <laughs> on. But um, United host Stoke City, Stoke City, whose new manager Paul Lambert was uh, was in the stands. Yeah, he was at the game. I don't think Sky Sports were again watching Ultra HD legally. I don't think they um, they wanted you to forget that Stoke's new manager uh, was Paul Lambert and he was present at the game. United went with a li- with a what looked like a 4-2-3-1 on paper, but a lot of the fans are saying that it was a 4-3-3 with Jesse Lingard dropping into uh, to play as an 8. Well, it started with Pogba kind of playing 10 from kickoff for a mm. couple of minutes. Uh, Pogba was putting the pressure on the defenders and Jesse was sitting quite far back. I don't think uh, Lingard's going to become a, <laughs> a deep-line playmaker. Well, some were saying that he... It's it's amazing to see Jesse Lingard learn this role, this eight role. Uh, some season ticket holders, some match day goers, mm. uh, were, were saying this. So, if he is turned into an eight, do you think he'd do all right there? Um, he's got the capabilities. I think it'd be very similar to what probably Ox is offering in a mm. in a free um, high pressure, quite fast. Um, decent shot from what we've seen recently mm. um, but I think we need a if Herrera's not good enough to be the 8 for this club I don't think Mara Flaney is oh go on yeah. <laughs> I don't think Jesse Lingard is going to be the 8 for this club that's fair enough um, but yeah uh, a very strong lineup United went out with and Stoke were in desperate need of a win but United were in the mood mm. they were in the mood and after 9 minutes Big, big, tawny, Uncle Tony, Antonio Valencia, with a goal, you just had to, you had to rub your eyes mm. to make sure you'd seen it properly. A delicious ball from Pogba drilled into him uh, for his first assist of two of the night. And Valencia just takes it in, cuts inside his left foot, 
and curls it into the back of the net. I, I couldn't believe it was absolute. It was, it was scenes, like, you know, it was absolute, absolute scenes. We're lucky to get a left foot pass from him. Exactly. Let alone a, a rocket like that. My goodness. That's, what was it, his third goal of the season? Yeah, I think so. Um, but as he said in July, you know, he's working, he's working on the left peg, so... Practice makes perfect, Tony Valencia. Practice makes, makes perfect, and it was it was a start. We needed we needed an early goal, and we got it. We were in control for most of the game, but uh, before the second, I think did Ireland have a couple of chances, or were we two up already? And um, yeah, uh, Ireland had a few chances. We were finding it difficult to deal with um, big Crouch. Yeah, Crouch. He was winning a lot Crouch. of headers. So Chris Smallin decided to. Well, he, I think it, it looks like an instruction. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, that he's got to win. Well, at least put pressure on Crouch for the yeah. headers. Wherever, was, wherever yeah. Crouch was, my guy Smallin was there and all. So I don't know. I don't get why him and Jones just didn't swap depending on where Crouch was going. Well, I'm trying to wonder if or a midfielder were dropping in. Like I don't they, get. It. They played a four-two-three-one. Yeah. So obviously the two fullbacks are dealing with the wingers. Mm. Smallin's been told to deal with crowd. Mm. So doesn't that just mean Jones should be left to deal with Ireland? <laughs> but it seemed like Jones was helping uh, Shaw at left, left back, back yeah. which was um, leaving massive space for Stephen Ireland. And he did have a few chances, he just couldn't finish. And Shakiri even got left with a bit of space. Yeah. And Dave made a very good save. Was that before the half time? Yeah, that was before half time. Yeah. Right on half time, actually. Yeah. But before that, Paul Pogba at it again. With a very nice ball out to Anthony Martial, who hits it first time. First time, first t- that boy's ankles, yeah, mm. those ankles getting a serious workout in the last few months, and it's a sensational finish from the boy. It, it really, it really, really is. Arsenal, Arsenal, fuck off. And United going at half time two 0 up, and um, you c- controlling the game again, um, just knocking the ball about, creating a few chances. Mata had one or two chances as well that he maybe should have buried. Uh, Rom the bomb uh, before before his goal uh, flicks the ball up into his face, oh. which for me oh, really dear. summed up his night. He, he was doing some he's doing some nice stuff to be fair out on the right wing. Um, Big steppies. Yeah, he's he's adding some some madness to his game on the flanks. Yeah, because he gets it in the middle and he's he's looking at, looking a bit shaky. Although you know these pundits who are in the football circle like. Um, <laughs> Uh, Gary Neville was saying that Lukaku was probably uh, a man, man of the man. match. Um, so those of us that are outside the football circle are obviously seeing something different. What well, we numpties? Yes, the numpties. The numpties who are not in the football circle and who have Twitter accounts uh, are seeing something different. But anyway, uh, the Bulls played into Romelu Lukaku from Anthony Martial. Drilled into yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> really drilled into him. His gut. Oh. Um, some were saying it was handball. I heard something wild like he caught the ball. Um <laughs> On one, on one of the fan cams on one of the United uh, channels, and he just bullies, uh, he bullies the Stoke defenders and smashes it past Butler and United three in the lap, and that was really it. Yeah, just standard. Mourinho see out the game, just play it around. It's a lot of the last twenty minutes were kind of just. I was fuming. Yeah. I've got no idea why we we don't continue to to get more goals. I don't know why we don't just go for the throat. Go four, five, six, seven. Just go for it. What's the problem? Mm. I don't see what he thinks is going to happen. That he think he feels the need that he's got something that fucking clown Fellaini for what? I don't understand it. Well, he Fellaini came on, um, dropped into six, <sighs> receiving the ball from the centre back. Uh, <laughs> it's horrible. Anders is there with his bib. It's just I accept the fact Scott's coming on. Give Scott the minutes if you want to. But to bring on Fellaini instead of under Herrera is just it's just bollocks. And now the Telegraph for saying that um, he's told the hierarchy not to let Fellaini go. I don't know. You, you United fans seem to <laughs> seem to love this Fellaini guy. I've got I've got I've got no time for him. If you're sticking him alongside the striker, then or just off the striker, then for, not a ten, not a ten, but just off the striker. A nine and a half. There you. Go. If you want that, you can have that. Um, but in a six, collect dropping into yeah. the, dropping into the back four to make it a five. They do simple passes. Like. For fuck's sake! This is this is not that's that's not what I want, and he's not he's not the level that we need. But whatever, whatever, he's there, and the, the fans love him, so I can't 
I can't knock him too much, apparently. Um, but yeah, we've got to, we've got to say that Mkhitaryan was also not in the squad. Yeah, Jose saying it wasn't because of tactical decisions. It was to do with um, well, his head's gone a bit. Been linked with it's been turned, um, hasn't it? Yeah, linked with a move away from the club to Arsenal. Imagine that. We might are we getting onto that? Are we? Is this you've a good got a segue? Laugh, you've got to laugh at him first, I think. Like, well, okay, we'll laugh first. Though. You've got to laugh at, but th- imagine that you go, you go to the, you go, ca- what well, used to be formerly known as Carrington, <laughs> for a session. The gaffer's telling you, you're going to London. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm going Chelsea. Nah. Oh Spurs. Nah. <laughs> West Ham. Nah. <laughs> Fulham. Nah. <laughs> Not Arsenal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I was that's that's horrible. But we go to the Arsenal, who were down in, at Bournemouth. Um, Sunny day. Fans went to the beach, I think. <laughs> 1.30 kick-off. And the news had broken uh, a few hours. Uh, was it the day before on Saturday that the Sanchez news I think it was broken? being rumoured, but it got broken just as they arrived. What, the United one? Because I'm sure he was linked with City. And then, whatever. Let's, okay, fuck it. On, on the day it, it had broken. Oh, but, that he got... Oh, I... Yeah, probably broken the day before, but I got broken that he wasn't in the match day. Squad oh yeah, no, no, no. Day. I just, I just meant about the the transfer. But anyway, yeah. Then they get there and he's not in the squad, and it's like fucking hell. Well, he's gone. He's gone. But we're Arsenal, so the, we're all right. The future's there. Wobi, Lacazette, Welbeck. Welbeck. I mean, that's a that's that's a terrifying front three for any defense to face. Um, you know, you got Theo Walcott, uh, uh, Wally Walcott, as some call him, uh, to bring off the bench. You got the kid in Cater, I can't knock him, he's you know, he's he's a youth lad, so good to see youth players getting um well, getting into the squad, he didn't get uh, any minutes. But I mean this Arsenal team is uh, uh it is poor. It is poor. And Urzel had his you know, mysterious knee injury. Yeah, I'm uh, not sure. Again. If he I think if he gets a a little niggle, it's all over. <laughs> it's done. But Arsenal needed a win. Uh their form have been poor. <laughs> Uh, One win against that against Palace. Yeah, the three two against Palace after back to back draws against uh, West Brom and Chelsea and Liverpool. Meh. Sitting in sixth was the serious problem. They there was a gap being created between them and fourth place and them and fifth. Uh, to be fair, the back three again. Your know, Chambers, Mustafi, and Holding. I, I I don't know. I don't know for this club. You know. I I, I almost feel sorry for them. But fuck Arsenal. <laughs> They're coming back to Bournemouth. That's what that's what I want to talk about. So yeah, Bournemouth, Bournemouth Arsenal. Last season, three three. Giroud's com- over the over the top celebrations. Yeah. The comeback of all comebacks. But this time, this time, it was all different. Nil nil at half time. We then roll on to the second half, and Iwobi's playing playing a good ball. To be fair, into uh, the wannabe Bale Hector Bellerin. <laughs> Who some somehow his shot gets past uh, Begovic. Uh, Begovic and finds the back of the net. After find themselves one 0 up, excellent stuff. Way the fans are going crazy, and then the banter club mm. does what it does best. And yeah, go on. Yeah, I passes to uh, Ryan Fraser. Used to be on loan at Ipswich. Can he knock it? Um, <laughs> great ball. Uh, he gets in between. Uh, Two of the centre backs. I'm not sure where the third one, third one was. Um, Callum Wilson, yeah, gets in between two of them. Um, Chet comes out, misjudges it, and All over um, the shop. No yeah, man, Callum man. Wilson gets ahead of him and uh, puts it in the back of the net. One one, thinking, all right, calm down, Arsenal. Yeah, we can. We've got 20 minutes. We can. We can go on and win the game. Yeah, they got a game. It's, man. it's all right. Um, but that wasn't to be. Yeah. <laughs> Callum Wilson runs behind um, the defence. The ball comes over the top. Um, he um, holds it up quite nicely, lays it off to Jordan Ive, and he just shoots, puts all his power into it, and uh, Czech can't do anything about it. He scored his first goal. First goal. Imagine that. Jordan Ive. He's been at the club, what, a year and a half? <laughs> Never scored for Bournemouth. It's... It would happen against. Yeah. It w- it would be Arsenal, and Arsenal suffered a defeat 
um, at Bournemouth just to make ma- just to make their weekend worse. And then you know they're coming out of the stadium, they're seeing links with Manchester United, and Sanchez is going here and Sanchez is going there. Their club's in tatters. Yeah. They're an absolute fucking mess. An ex great club, Manchester United. Fuck me <laughs> sideways. Please, 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 please. And that leaves Arsenal in sixth place. Five points off Spurs in fifth. And a massive eight points off Chelsea in fourth. Top four. I'm saying it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. And I don't know what that means for Arsene Wenger. He signed the two year contract. Obviously, he's only <laughs> six months in. <laughs> I'd say he might uh, retire, but I think he's too arrogant for that. And I think he wants to see out his two-year contract. And I can't see the board doing anything about it. Do you know what I'd love? I'd love him to go Europa League or bust. Jose, yes, and just bottle it. Yeah. Just bottle it. Not even at the final, at the quarterfinal or semi-final <laughs> stage. Something silly like that. Do not even get to the final, just bottle it. And they're too far off fifth, fourth anyway. And they're back in that competition again. Can you imagine? Or Bama Yang, Mikatarin, and Malcolm. <laughs> Fuck off, you ain't getting shit. Your manager's recalling Perez. That's who you're getting to replace, Alexis. <laughs> Fucking Perez. Alright? Ban- you're a banter club. You're a banter club. No, you're still invincible, you shit. <laughs> Fucking crap. Hey, I can't stand them. Like, comp- compare themselves to United all the time. Why? Why? You got people on, on you know out there on social media and whatnot, you know. <laughs> the not, numpties. The, the numpties on social media saying that United and Arsenal are in, are in the same bracket, we're all on the city. 11 point gap. Yeah, and well, we're not even, we're supposed to be not competing with City and they're 12 points ahead of us. So what does that say? Yeah. What does that say? And of course, yeah, the United win has cut the gap from 15 to 12. So it's back on. It's- <laughs> that means one thing, it's back on. It's back on. Liverpool have done us a favour as well, and they've got us our defensive record back. We've got the best de- uh, defence in the Premier League. Joint with, joint, with, joint with Chelsea. We're doing all right. <laughs> Up there in second. And it could be getting better. Is this the segue now? Am I saying? <laughs> yeah, go on. We might be getting Alexis Sanchez. Huge. Huge. I, I, I don't want to say too much until I see him in the show. Yeah, well, there's a possibility he's been linked with... Um... Us, City and um, Chelsea, I think they just threw uh, Liverpool's name in <coughs> to get uh, clicks. Who ruled themselves out? Oldham? Uh, Oldham have ruled themselves out. Fair so enough, fair enough. Any Oldham fans <laughs> listening, if you thought it was Sorry. a possibility, Sorry. it's not happening. Uh, City has supposedly um, dropped out. Uh, Bollocks. Conte has said in his presser for their FA Cup replay against Norwich, um, they what? <clears throat> FA Cup replay against... Against uh, cha- who? Championship Nine. Fuck you uh, now. The champions of England. Yeah. Uh, that uh, He thinks it's very unlikely that they'll go for um, Sanchez. I don't know if that's a... Uh... Well, I got an exclusive yeah. earlier in the day from a, from a local Chelsea fan who was coming out with quotes such as Conte doesn't know what's going on. So, you know, I just wanted to, well, he to said say that. Well, he said it's very unlikely. <laughs> He said they said it was very Conte said it was very unlikely. And um, I don't know if that's a dig at the board. Maybe they haven't supported him and it's his future is in a bit uncertain. I mean obviously um <clears throat> they've gone from challenge well, winning the league to in a top four battle, but to be fair, he's done all right. I don't think he should leave. Don't nah. see anything. I don't, I don't think he should. I don't think he should him. leave. I don't think he he should be fired. But I mean, it's this very Chelsea to to fire him. City, of course. I'll say it again. I bang, I bang on about it all the time. But they are uh, creating history and whatnot with their with their win streaks and and all this shit. And they're flying. So Chelsea, Chelsea did that last year with yeah. with, with their with their winning run. Can't expect them to to have done the same again. But Conte's head has kind of gone. So what well, I was gonna say, all you can say is he's a, he's stubborn as. Yeah. I mean, the the five three two um, or the three five two, if you want to call it that, isn't isn't working at all. Uh, the sixty million pound flop, as the numpties on Twitter <laughs> are calling him, uh, Morata, he's he's in serious uh, serious trouble, horrible form. Hazard coming off in the fifty uh, eighth minute as well. All you FPL lot that had Hazard in, I'm I'm, I'm really really sorry. Um, madness! I couldn't believe it. His excuse is that they're tired, but I don't. You've drawn your last four games. I think you, you got to be tired from winning <laughs> at least. To draw four, I, no, 
what? What? Well, in all comps, so. All comps, so what? A game landing, 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 and another London game yeah. <laughs> against uh, against Arsenal. Whatever, man. I think it's bollocks. I think it's a bullshit excuse. I think we were on Sanchez though, so <laughs> yeah, we're getting sanctioned. <laughs> yeah, so Chelsea falling themselves out. City supposedly have, but you never know. Obviously, I think it's bullshit. I think if it's if they rule themselves out, I think he said no to him. Yeah, that's what's being said. And um, we're the only club left. Um, the um, deal that supposedly happened is going to see Mkhitaryan go the other way, and we get Sanchez. But a straight swap, no money involved, Sounds... which is very surprising. And I know, obviously, um, Mkhitaryan's got. What, probably three years left on his contract, would you say? Maybe, yeah. Um, and Sanchez has only got six months, but Mkhitaryan's 28, Sanchez is 29. Sanchez is literally a month older <laughs> than Mkhitaryan. He's going to be, Mkhitaryan's going to be uh, 29 in five days. So That's horrible. Yes, yeah, how that is a fair swap, I don't know. I'm just celebrating your birthday. Yeah, yeah. At Arsenal. Ugh. Ugh. He just come out of the Europa League. And he's going back. And he can play as well. <laughs> Mourinho's a dickhead. That's so dark. That's... Arsenal fans can't be happy because if they were getting a bit of money and then getting McTurn, then it would look like a good deal. But for yeah, a straight but... swap of the players, they're obviously they're two different calibre of players. But some, but some of these Arsenal fans think that he's one of three. Malcolm. Aubameyang and Mkhitaryan as well yeah obviously that's good but in terms of that deal it doesn't make sense does it really well no but I think and if that's the case if they're giving us Sanchez and they're getting Mkhitaryan in return I think they've got to accept that they're a, a B-Tech club and I no think, longer respect them I think all. I think even if we were paying for Sanchez, the fact we're getting Sanchez off them, they're still a B Tech club. Yeah. The, the, we're, we're getting their best player res- again. For us to throw someone who doesn't even sometimes get in our match day squad, they obviously don't respect themselves. They're trash. They're, they're shit. That's what they are. They're a little feeder club. They feed everyone. And they want to act like they're some relevant team that battles for the title. You don't. You <laughs> bottle the title in 07 08, yeah? Top until the end of March. And then you finish third. I never asked you to call Tottenham for the third in a two-horse race. Mm. You guys were top. Top. Fucking shit, bro. Lad, man. Fuck Arsenal, bro. Take me Katarian, bro. I hope he's shit. I like the guy, but I hope he's shit for you <laughs> lot as well, man. Probably be a Wobi Lacazette and Katarian. Yeah, I can't see them getting a Bami, eh? Yeah. I, I hope not for him. I hope, yeah. hope for his sake. Because his goal tally, his records uh, are actually quite all right, but... I think Awobi's getting a huge push. Defo. <laughs> I think. I think he's getting... He's getting to that age where he needs... To... Sanchez is seven, right? Hmm? Sanchez is seven. Yeah, yeah I think he's getting seven. That would be huge. Because he won't be 17 now, and Sanchez was when he came, I swear. I'm sure he was when he, when he first came. And then um, he... And then I think... I think that's, I think that's Who's like the number seven? That they weren't giving it to him? Was Rosicki still there? <laughs> I can't... I can't... I can't even remember. Big silence. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Yeah, go and carry it on then. It won't. It won't be. Is the future, man? Yeah. It's all good. He just needs to decide his position because even he's been said to be the uh, yeah. I knew it. The number, number is he a number ten? Is he a winger? I mean, he's doing big through balls, so maybe he is a number ten. Maybe he could replace Özil and Sanchez. The future is bright. Yeah, the future <laughs> is bright. It really, really, really is. And with Wilshire yet to get a contract off from Arsenal for some for some reason, um, I think Awobi is going to have a huge World Cup. I think he's going to take Nigeria, make him play pretty well, get to a good stage in the World Cup, and Arsenal fans are going to be thinking. And this is when Wenger's going to come out and say Awobi is the future. But then you know when what they you'll see: no players. The back, we're going to see the P rollers. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to see terrible shots like we saw against Chelsea. I, th- I think we'll see big. If he does have a big World Cup. Transfer request. That's what no, happened. That would be embarrassing. It would be a big transfer request because of all the stick he was getting because he was just doing little nights yeah. out. You know what I mean? But you know what I forgot, we forgot to talk about? Fucking Xhaka. Xhaka, yeah, you're shit, mate. Your dog comparisons with Paul Pogba last season. Xhaka, you're shit. 
Who scored their last goal? Oh, Ibe, innit? He let Ibe run off him. Run. He, all, he always lets... He lets everyone just run past him. I don't I don't understand what he's about. I don't know what he brings to Arsenal. These deflected long shots. Is yeah. that what he's on? The long shots against Mignolet? Oh, sorry. Fuck off. He's so dead. he can't defend. He can't pass. He is really lacking. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing in the Bundesliga because he seemed to be he was getting sent off a lot, but he was highly rated. This Ar- this Arsenal badge must just be yeah. it must be super heavy. Yeah, and and no one, no one seems to be able to. As soon as, as, soon as they can, they leave. <laughs> like Alexis is leaving. Like Van Persie left. Like Nasri left. Like Adi Bayo left. Like Song left. Clichy. Clichy. Is that Fabregas? Fabregas. Henri. Yeah, he didn't even believe in. He didn't believe in the project. <laughs> <laughs> he fucked off the Barca to get his Champions League. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, what a joke club. Anyway, what's next? VAR. Um, or do you want to round up? Um, we didn't even talk about Pogba's on nine assists. He's the top the, assister in the the dab merchant. The, yeah, man. The dab in Suzor. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. That Paul Pogba. Fuck you now. Nine assists. Um, same as De Bruyne. Ten less games. Ten less games. And obviously, we're not saying say, just because he's got played ten less games and got the same assists, he's obviously better. But a lot of people were calling for Paul Pogba to give you these goals and assists. You know, your basic... For some reason. Let me just see the statistics. <laughs> and I know that means they've had a good season if I see that. Bollocks. Um, these nunties. And yeah. <laughs> and he's given and he's given him then. He's got nine assists, three goals in thirteen games. You can say what you want to say. Pogba, Thief Pro World Eleven. Yeah. This is the respect, the lack of respect people are putting on this guy's name. He doesn't go from a Thief Pro World Eleven player to a dab merchant and a dabbing Suzoko. But it's because he's wearing a United shirt. Yeah. He's wearing a United shirt. He's automatically shit. I'm sure when Sanchez... If, sorry, if Sanchez signs for United, I'm sure they'll be calling him a, a, a dog shit player as well. It's, 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 it's the agenda, man. Just like the Gillum's uh, uh, little quote of uh, Pep or Money. Since when? Disgraceful. Since when? It's the agenda. The The, the agenda. I think we're forgetting what City did last season. Nothing. <laughs> Fuck all. Pep's trophy haul at City? Zero. A grand total of zero. Yeah? Mourinho? Three. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Look, you said trophies, not major trophies, all right? <laughs> Put some respect on the community. It should have been four, man. <sighs> this shitty Madrid doing fourth place battles, man. We should have beaten them. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, yeah. Didn't you want to talk about VAR? Yep, VAR was uh, trialled in the uh, League Cup game between yeah. uh, Chelsea and Arsenal. Uh, yeah. Wasn't dog shit fixture. Yeah, it was used a couple of times, but this weekend there was two huge, huge colossal controversies, especially at Vicarage Road. Yes, well, Southampton really struggling at the moment. Need three points. And then not if minute is two one and Decoy decides to handball it into the net. So, where's the VAR? Yeah, where's the VAR? Where's the VAR? But I was hearing big shouts during that uh, that that London derby <clears throat> league uh, league cup game. Well, this is a bit that the VAR was too slow. It did. It does take its time. I don't know. I think it needs to be used on decisions like this, but not. I think we don't want to get to a stage where it's being called for everything. Yeah, but surely they're just getting used to the system, and of course it's going to take some time to get it right. They're going to, they're going to roll it out. Oh, perfect. Two seconds, man. Yeah. Surely you football fans have got to calm the fuck down. Maybe. Because a lot of you lot, a lot of you numpties didn't <laughs> want it in the first place. A lot of you numpties didn't even want the the goal line technology. It'll ruin, it'll ruin all the debates. It'll ruin the podcasts. Don't forget to go on the website and follow us <laughs> on Twitter as well. Yeah, like and subscribe. Well, that was definitely... Um... Uh, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Sure, they're going to ease it in. I, I think they've got to come with a, a tennis-esque... Or challenges. Yeah. Because who... Like, who yeah, decides? and you challenge certain decisions. Yeah. Certain things have got... There's, yeah. I'll be up for that. You get three challenges a game. <laughs> <laughs> Ref, I want to see that back. <laughs> there yeah. you go. On the big screen. Or Trafford and Anfield will be fucked. Well, you <laughs> yeah. know, everyone <laughs> everyone else just stand around the watch, man. <laughs> 
on the smartwatches. But then the second one was, again, Swansea, um, they bought them. Mm. They need all the help they can get. Um, I think it was nil-nil at the time. Um, a header, I think it was a header or a shot comes in and uh, Diame sticks his elbow out to stop it going in the net. And they, if, if VAR was used then, we're seeing a red card and a penalty. And what, 30 minutes, um, if they scored the penalty, they would have been one nil up and Newcastle had 10 men for 30 minutes. And obviously Newcastle need the points, but I think Swansea need them more. And mm. we can't be taking points from against from these relegation teams. Referee's a dog. Referee's a dog. That's two games covered. Um, the rest, <laughs> West Brom beat Brighton by two goals to nil. Uh, the, the West Brom defenders coming in good in that game. West Ham. Smashing Huddersfield. I think this is their first away win of the season or their second. It's one or two. Um, Arnautovic pulling in, a, putting in a fantastic performance. Two assists and a goal for him. Uh, Palace beating Burnley by a goal to nil. Burnley, shocking Gone form. Gone downhill. Shocking form. They're sitting in sixth, uh, in seventh, sorry. Five points off the great Arsenal. Um, but yeah, no win. No win in six. Three losses and three draws. And they've got United next. So we all know what's happening in that <laughs> game. Uh, but yeah, Roy Hodgson doing big things. Palace all the way up into 12th. 12th. Can you imagine? Back-to-back wins, undefeated in the last three games. And they face Arsenal next. Ah, <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Well, West Ham and Crystal Palace in 11th and 12th. Um, Moyes and uh, Roy were laughed at as mm. well. Supposedly they were not laughed at yeah. by the media and the, inner the circle. football circle, the people who have knowledge and are respected, and actually have yeah knowledge on the game. But, but everyone the, else, you the know, the these on uh, on social media, social media or people that go to games that don't you know don't say anything when you, when you know <laughs> fuck it Neville yeah you know what I'm saying like come on you cannot be coming out of course like that you you can't you can't you can't be saying what you're saying. You can't you can't pay us on the, with with the same brush. You just you just you just can't do that, son. About ah, oh, the the same people who are uh, saying stuff about you in matches when you pass them on the street, they're not saying the same things. Well, what are you on about? <laughs> what what are you talking about? Do you know what I mean? I'm entitled to my opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. Anyone's entitled to their opinion, especially at a football match where I'm paying. Yeah. I'm paying money to go and see you play. And why am I shouting at someone in the street as well? What am I doing? I'm seeing you in, in, in Morrison's. I'm going to start saying, fucking trap back, Neville. Like, what <laughs> what, what, what does he expect? It's bullshit, bro. About the inner footballing circle and chat. Fuck off, man. Like you said before when we were talking off, off, off mic before recording. Are you sitting there sucking off Roy when England were losing to Iceland? Yeah. So, whatever, man. I, I, was, I was very disappointed. And, and in the segment of Monday Night Football, which is questions from Twitter as well, which is... Just bollocks, which gives him more runtime on that show to make him get more money anyway. And That's not idea. He might have thought that um, Hodgson would have come in and done a very good job, but to say it, say it now, like I'm sure you can go back to Monday Night Football when they got <laughs> hired, and I'm sure it's like, well, it's going to be very difficult. Mm. They haven't lost their first seven games, <laughs> and he didn't have. He's not done great. Well, he didn't do great in his previous job, so. But obviously they're experts and they knew exactly what was going to happen. They probably predicted exactly. this whole season. They they probably put down big bets, big bets about yeah. it. I think. Fuck off, Neville. I'm not happy with that. I'm not Sky happy with that at all. <laughs> Say it again, lads. Uh, Chelsea nil, Leicester nil, in a game where Leicester will be fuming that they they weren't able to leave up Stamford Bridge through all three points. Dominated Chelsea. Chelsea offered nothing to the game. They even uh, Leicester went down to ten men mm. with about fifteen minutes Big to go. Well. Yeah. It's the three five two or the five three two. It's not working. Bakayoko's not putting any effort in. Fabregas is getting all sorts of stick. Well, the main uh, talking point on match of the day was that Bakayoko's just not doing anything. Bukayoko, <laughs> Bukayoko, uh, did not doing anything, man. <laughs> Just running around like a headless chicken. and oh, that's dark. Maybe, and just not putting effort. So. Isn't he better than Matic? Well, that's what... Matic was getting a lot of stick because just because Chelsea wanted to sell him. Like he wasn't, United. Yeah. Like he wasn't key to their title. Both of their titles. I was about to say, the last two, yeah. It's, uh, it's crazy. 
And then we're on to the late kickoff on Saturday, which was Spurs against Everton. Spurs running out as 4 0 winners. Big Hazard back in the goals. Spurs ever top ever Premier League goal scorer. 98 goals in 135 games. I can't believe he's getting a 100, uh, 100 club uh, episode on, yeah. on Sky Sports very soon. I can't even believe it. It's mad. Will he stay though? That's the question. Madrid. He's going. Benzema needs to get moved out of that team, yeah? And Hazard is the replacement. Where else is he going to go? Are they, they sold Di Maria because he looked like a goblin, man. Oh are they going to <laughs> appreciate his speech impediment? Yeah, but he's got the, the lisp and the, you know, the Spanish language uses a lot of the tongue, so he might, he might be fantastic. You think he's going to learn Spanish? Maybe, of course, maybe like Bale, has... man. Es un sueño para estar y jugar para, para el Real Madrid. Like, I'll, I'll never forget that. When he was um, uh, brought at the, at the, at the uh, I'm, I'm sure he's going. I think he's going to give. He deserves Madrid. I can't see it happening after this season. I think he might give. Um, the new stadium a go. Yeah, give the new stadium a go. See what happens. They might bring some decent players in. Yeah, but what are they winning? <laughs> what are they winning? Well, he doesn't like the cup competitions, which only leaves the Premier League and the Champions and the League. Champions League, which is probably asking for a bit too much. Fuck, you know. Fuck, you, know. you know, as they say, uh, walk before you can run. <laughs> <laughs> and from what I'm hearing, City are dominating football for the next four, five, six years anyway. So that's yeah, the as long league as done. Peps at the club, it's nothing's happened. Yeah. So I mean, I, I don't know. Champions League, pff, Juventus is a huge, huge, huge obstacle to get past. Um, he's ha- he has to go. Benzema can only stay at Madrid for 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 so long, and Ronnie is off domestically. Big CR seven is looking Sad. CR shit. That's what that's 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 what's happening over there um, in La Liga. But yeah, that's that's the Premier League roundup. I just want to say shout yeah, out you, no? shout out to my boys. Uh, uh, well, my boy Lionel Messi doing dirts again. I think he's. He's broken uh, Muller's goal. He's got three, uh, record, sorry. 366 goals uh, for Lionel Messi. A fantastic free kick. Yeah, great free kick. Barcelona are doing a madness. They've got, I think they're 16 points ahead of Madrid. Something crazy like that. Who are in, who are in fourth. I think they're nine points ahead of Atletico in second. It's madness. For, for everything everyone was saying, and Neymar's gone, and Barca weren't great last year, and now they've lost Neymar, they're going to be dog shit. Uh, Valverde, I think his name is, has uh, has gone there. He's he's changed the formation, especially uh, from the four three three to the four four two or the four one two one two, as well. Brought Paulinho in, who everyone was laughing at, who people um, to my left still laugh at and don't want to give any ratings to. Who's getting goals as well, chipping in, adding adding some. That's adding something different to a midfield runs, midfield runs, big big runs like that, not. I'm tall and got an afro and my heading's not great, but my chest is fantastic and my feet is just dog shit. Um, if when they win the La Liga, I'm sure. Hopefully they will. Yeah. yeah. The thing about the four four two, we're definitely hearing about that in a, a Sean Dyche uh, <laughs> presser. <laughs> He'll be asking for the Barcelona job definitely. It will be mad. Usman and Dembele still still being brought back from injury as well. And of course, Coutinho is there now too. Really? Oh. I mean, I can't wait for the Chelsea game. Andy Carroll, <laughs> <laughs> Andy Carroll lead, leading the line for Chelsea. It's going to be great. Big up Barca. Big up Barca. And in France, referees doing bants. <sighs> Outrageous stuff. A referees doing bants. He lost his head. Unbelievable. Sent him off. You know, no, no chill, as the kids say. Has it not been reviewed? There's, I've not heard anything. I haven't heard anything. Been banned or. If you kick someone at work, you normally get fired. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of that. We'll be back later on this week for uh, for the previews and whatnot. Maybe we'll be making an emergency or a, or a, or a super vid on the back two extra for for an Alexis Sanchez <laughs> reveal. <laughs> he's, he's got the seven shirt. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, look out for the next podcast. I can't say it. Nah. I've said Mkhitaryan's name like four different ways in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the end of that. Have a good Geeky one. Sport. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>